Valley Myers was definitely one of the most recognisable bohemian artists in recent years. Dressed in flamboyant gypsy style clothing with flaming red hair and featuring intricate tattoos even around her lips, one admits she looked remarkably young for her age. Valley was born on August 2, 1930 in a little house in Tincomb Street, Canterbury, Sydney. Valley's dream was to dance for a living in Paris, but the bleak poverty of 1949 was a bit of shock to her. The city was completely ravaged by war, money was scarce and jobs were almost impossible to find. Refusing to turn tail and plead for money to return home, Valley began a life on the streets with the rest of the world displaced. Jewish and Gypsy refugees fleeing camps, writers, artists and petty thieves, they all formed a vagabond family that made the Paris cafes their home. Valley lived on the streets of the Latin Quarter of Saint Germain des Presse on the left bank for three years, surviving on bread and milk and carrying a knife for protection. <laughs> Valley fell in love with Melbourne and its people and held her first Australian exhibition at the Emerald Hill Gallery. In 1995, Valley returned to Australia to set up her beloved studio in the Nicholas Building overlooking Swanson Street in Melbourne and began to show her work regularly. <laughs> It was in 1996 that I first met Valley. We took the rickety old elevator up to her studio and were immediately made to feel at home. With a stuffed fox as an attraction, one knew straight away that Valley was a remarkable and fascinating character. Valley passed away due to cancer on the 12th of February 2003 at the age of 72.